Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. What a gift I received. This this really blew, blew me away. It really, really did. And I will get to it now in a second. But um, anyone who's kind of familiar with my channel knows that John Carpenter is my favourite director of all time. He has directed some of my favourite movies of all time. And there's a company in America called Sacred Bones Records. And in conjunction with Scream Factory, they bring out these deluxe editions of a lot of John Carpenter movies. So I'm going to quickly show four now. So they come in these deluxe uh, boxes. Uh, they come, they're, they're just lovely, kind of, uh, they're quite big and they're very unique looking. They have unique looking artwork on them, uh, which I'll quickly show Big Trouble in Little China. So uh, yeah, so as you can see there, there's three Halloween movies and Big Trouble. Now I know John Carpenter didn't direct parts two and three, but he was strongly involved with them. So yeah, they do amazing jobs with these releases. And this May, they're actually bringing out Escape from New York as well which I cannot wait to get my hands on. I have it pre-ordered. But they also brought out um, Day Live and Prince of Darkness. Now, I know I probably said this story in a video before, but I'm going to tell it again because I think it's worth telling. But around June last year, I kind of wanted to start this collection. I had big trouble already. So I wanted Day Live and Prince of Darkness. So I went over to Sacred Bones. Uh, unfortunately, they were sold out. But Scream Factory had uh, both, uh, both editions, but Scream Factory won't ship to Ireland. So I, I asked my good friend Ben over to Cadaver Club, uh, would he ship them to me? And of course, Ben being Ben had no problem doing it. So he went out and he bought me Day Live. He got Prince of Darkness as well. I asked him to get me a steelbook of Dirty Dancing on 4K as well from Best Buy, which he did. And not only that, but he also threw in this phenomenal looking steelbook of uh, the Terrifier or Terrifier. I think that's what, yeah, I think it's called Terrifier. And uh, it was, he just threw it in as a gift. He actually had uh, two of them. And to be honest, I was really excited to get the, the Terrifier Steelbook because I seen pictures of it and it looked absolutely extraordinary. So I could not, could not wait to get the movie. Um, so yes, um, he shipped them out to me. Uh, and amazingly enough, three days later, um, three days later, the parcel arrived in Dublin. And I couldn't believe how quickly it got got to Ireland. It was absolutely amazing. And then all of a sudden a few days passed and there was no sign of this parcel and I was getting a little bit worried. So I contacted my postal service and of course they told me they were sending it back to Ben. Something to do with customs reasons. Uh, I think there was a declaration that wasn't filled in. Now this had nothing to do with Ben. Everything that Ben done was right. Uh, it was his postal service that kind of screwed up. So uh, yeah, so it was shipped back to Ben. So I think you know where the story is going. Uh, of course, Ben did not get the parcel back. Uh, it ended up getting lost. There was around, including the delivery, I think it was around 230 quid that I spent on that parcel. And uh, yeah, it got lost. So Ben insured it for $200. But unfortunately, neither my postal service or Ben's postal service would take any responsibility for this parcel. And Ben tried. He really, really did try. And that was it. There's nothing could be done. We couldn't even get the money back for it. So we just gave up. Um, it was just, it was annoying me. I didn't want to be annoying him anymore. So we just gave up. So a couple of months ago, I seen another steelbook from Best Buy that I desperately wanted. So we done it again. I asked Ben, would he actually ship this to me? And he said, no problem. And then he notified me and he says to me that I'm going to send you something. And of course, what he sent me was Prince of Darkness. Uh, and it's in this deluxe sesh that I was trying to get. Uh, ben felt so bad about what happened with the first parcel that he went out and he got me this. Now, it was meant to be a Christmas present, <laughs> but I only just got it. So he was a bit late when it comes to a Christmas present, but I did not care. Uh, the fact that he sent this to me is something truly, truly remarkable. And Ben, Thank you so much for this. I'm completely blown away by it. Um, you really did not have to do it. Uh, none of this was your fault. You know, it's it was their fault. Nothing to do with you. Uh, and I really am completely blown away by your generosity. It's it really blew. I was I was so surprised by it. I really was. Uh, Ellen couldn't believe it either. So thank you so much, Ben, for this. Uh, it's something I will always treasure. So anyone that's not aware of ben, Ben's channel, it's uh, The Cadaver Club. I am going to leave a link in the description below. Please, please do go over and check out his channel. Now, he's gone a bit quiet with his channel, but he has assured me that he is going to come back. And folks, let me tell you, if this man comes back to YouTube, uh, which I know he will, 
he is going to show you some of the most extraordinary premium editions you will ever see when it comes to when it comes to movie collecting. I honestly think his collection surpasses mine. Uh, especially when it comes to his premium editions. Now I've seen some pictures, he's sent me a lot of pictures of some editions that he has and uh, I'm not kidding, if he starts putting videos together you are going to see something very very special. So again, I will leave the link in the description below, please do go over and check out uh, Ben's channel, uh, trust me it's definitely worth checking out. So thanks again Ben, thank you so much for this. So uh, right, let's get into this, I'm going to show you everything you get in this set, so uh, let's get to it. Right, so here we go, Prince of Darkness, and uh, anyone that's familiar with the movie will know the significance of the artwork in this. It's a very iconic scene in the movie. Uh, the film itself, it's not one of my favourite John Carpenter movies, I'm not going to lie, I do love it. I really do, but it's I've just seen so much better from, uh, from John Carpenter. So uh, yeah, digging on the silver look to it, it just looks amazing. I think every one of uh, Sacred Bones releases uh, just look fantastic, no complaints whatsoever. So uh, yeah, take us to the spine of it there, and you have Prince of Darkness, and you've got Scream Factory written down at the bottom there. And then to the back of it, uh, you just got this little logo, and then it's just all plain black. So uh, yeah, does I think you just get Prince of Darkness on one side, and you get Prince of Darkness on the other, and there's nothing at the bottom or the top. So yeah, that's the box itself, so let's open it up and see its contents. Uh, if it will open, that is. Voila. Right, so the first thing you will see here is the 7-inch vinyl. And uh, a shame they didn't do uh, something different with the artwork. That would have been quite nice. Uh, but it's a good look, it's a minor nitpick. Uh, so take it around. Uh, so as you can see there, you've got side A, Prince of Darkness, side B, Love at a Distance. Uh, it is composed by John Carpenter, performed by John Carpenter, Cody Carpenter and Daniel Davis. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's very nice to get that vinyl. So open it up. So this is a unique colour vinyl that you get with these editions. And there you go, that is it. That looks absolutely fantastic. Kind of just a blood splatter look. Really is nice. And uh, I'll take it around to the other side. Yeah, I'm digging on that. Amazing. Right, so put that vinyl to a side and then there is the movie itself. And as you can see, it's just snug. It's It doesn't move absolutely perfect. So we'll take it out and we will go through it. So, uh, the first thing you'll notice is they stuck with the original artwork, which is quite great because I've never actually had uh, an edition of Prince of Darkness with the original artwork. So that's definitely a first for me. So that is the spine of it. And then to the back. Uh, and I will put this up close for you if you just want to read the technical aspects of it. Uh, it does have Dolby Vision. It does have Dolby Atmos as well. As you can see, the Blu-ray is region locked to A, but every 4K release is region free. So that's a couple of features as well. Uh, it's actually jam-packed with features. Now I didn't check the features uh, on this release compared to the Studio Canal. I don't know, do you get more on this? I honestly do not know. So uh, yeah, that is the back of the uh, slipcase. So we'll open this and uh, yeah, it's the same thing again. So I'll just quickly take it around that. You got your spine there and that is the back of it. And then I will open it up. And that is your two discs, and it's always great to get two different kind of uh, alternate artworks on each disc. So you got your Blu-ray and you got your 4K disc. So that is it, folks. That is everything inside this sesh. It is very, very simple, but it's the presentation that really sells it for me. So uh, great to finally, finally have this in my collection. Right, folks, so there you have it. That is everything inside uh, this sesh. And it's very simple. There's not, not, not a whole lot to them. But I think it's just more the presentation than anything that just looks absolutely incredible. And they all look beautiful when they're stacked together. And hopefully uh, I can pick up Day Live sometime in the future. They're very hard to get now, unfortunately. But I have confidence in myself that I will be able to pick it up. So again, huge thanks to Ben for this. Really do appreciate it. Uh, but before I just end this video... Uh, he also did throw in a letter as well that I was meant to read out, so I'm going to do that now. But he basically turned around and he says, Key, apologies that it took me so long to get this package to you. But if you're reading this, at least this one actually arrived. Thank God it did. Uh, I felt bad that the last package got lost, so hopefully this hella late ass Christmas present would at least soften the blow a little. And it really has been. I, I mean it, it really has. Um Really glad to know you and be able to call you a friend, Ben. Unbelievable, Ben. And of course, 
I will put this in their box set like I do with every one of my notes that I receive. Uh, thanks so much for that as well. And he also threw in a couple of little stickers that I'm going to quickly show as well. Uh, just three stickers. You have a cat there sitting on top of a pumpkin. Uh, you got this kind of like monster arcade machine, which is pretty cool. And then you got this kind of uh, reptilian kind of skull thing. <laughs> yeah, so he threw in them three stickers, which was quite nice as well. And I will put that in the Prince of Darkness set. So thanks so much again, Ben, for that. That is absolutely amazing. So I did watch the film on 4K because I have the Studio Canal edition. Uh, I was blown away by the picture quality in that. Uh, watch this one. This is the Scream Factory's take on it. And just like the Studio Canal release, it looked absolutely fantastic. Um, it really does blow the Blu-ray uh, out of the water. It's just, it looks that good. Um, all the colours on it just look amazing. The Dolby Vision, absolutely spot on. The contrast is a, looks gorgeous in it as well. Uh, the black levels are spot on, you know, and there's a inc massive increased amount of sharpness on this picture as well uh, over the previous Blu-ray, which just looks amazing. The only th one thing I will say, the one, one downside to the 4K release is um, when you go down to the, the kind of like the dungeon or the basement or whatever you want to call it where the capsule is, uh, sometimes I found the 4K picture kind of the, the, the illusion of the picture quality breaks a bit. Uh, it looks a bit soft. Uh, just particularly on them scenes but thankfully it's only a handful of scenes and uh, it never kind of ruined my enjoyment of the movie itself so yes it's an absolute stunning looking 4k picture and definitely worth checking out uh, the Dolby Atmos now that's the other thing with the Screen Factory release you do get a Dolby Atmos uh, soundtrack where the studio canal you didn't you only had a 5.1 DTS and I have to admit after hearing this on Dolby Atmos uh, the minute you hear the John Carpenter score to start for you, you just get this great sense of presence uh, that you just did not get with the Studio Canal release. So, um, yes, I was really impressed, impressed with the Dolby, uh, sorry, the Dolby Atmos on it. Um, it's not what I call a huge difference over the 5.1 uh, DTS, but there's just a bit more, like I said, yeah, just a bit more presence to it, uh, especially on John Carpenter's score. So, uh, yes, uh, I think that if you were to pick up a release, uh, Scream Factory probably would have the better release just for the Dolby Atmos. Uh, the picture quality, I, I didn't compare the two, I honestly don't know, but uh, I, w I remember being blown away by the Studio Canal release, and I was just as, w uh, just as much blown away by the Scream Factory release, so, um, so yes, the Dolby Atmos is the kind of good selling point with that release. So that is it folks, that is it. So as per usual, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, and if you could do, leave a comment down below, and let me know your thoughts on this incredible gift that Ben sent me. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video, so take care folks out there. Take it easy. Bye-bye.